Now, the virus was first identified in an outbreak that occurred in 1967 in Germany in Yugoslavia. So what had happened was vervet monkeys were brought from Uganda. They had had the virus and they had transmitted to humans in Europe. Scientists speculate that a possible cause of the Ebola outbreak might stem from the prevalent consumption of bushmeat from animals like monkeys and fruit bats. The scientific concerns surrounding the consumption of bushmeat begin in our genes. Because we share 99% of our DNA with monkeys, the chances of an infectious and incurable disease like Ebola crossing over from a monkey to a human is exponentially higher than with any other animal. Nipah virus, a new entry on the sobering list of zoonoses or animal diseases that pass to humans. It's a highly infectious disease in pigs and uh, when the disease is on a pig farm then our studies show that virtually all the pigs on that pig farm become infected and so pigs really are a, an important host of this disease. Wherever we have increased uh, population densities of, uh, you know, of any animal species then we create a situation where disease can move rapidly among them. If you're in the business of spotting new strains of flu or any other emerging disease, there's no place more important to watch than here. This is Guangdong province in southern China, what the scientists call pandemic central. Guangdong uh, has a very high population density, very many animals are living there, mm -hmm. um, very close proximity to humans, and that's the, the ideal breeding ground for the emergence of pandemic influenza viruses. These viruses periodically jump from wild water birds, their natural reservoir, to humans. H5N1 is following step by step what other new flu viruses have done before when creating a pandemic the infected duck will pass on the virus to the surrounding fowl in the farm or barnyard. And in this new host, the virus mutates, and for some unknown reason, it becomes especially potent. Today, H5N1 is practically unstoppable. Never before has a bird virus caused 100% mortality in birds just 48 hours after infection. It's a new virus, and when it jumps to human beings, it'll find a completely vulnerable population. Just a few miles from the village are about a dozen huge industrial pig farms. For years, villagers have complained about the putrid smell. Although they have no proof, they say they worry that these containment ponds are contaminating their drinking water. What's it like living around this area with all these pig farms? Life is bad, he says, because the smell is very bad. We can't live with it. The waste in those ponds just sits there. You, you don't like it, no le gusta. Just go that way to smell it, it stinks. You realize it's very bad. Our number one public health recommendation was to end the practice uh, that is common in industrial farm animal production of giving antibiotics to healthy animals to compensate for the overcrowded and filthy conditions they live in. Doctors have found evidence that suggests camels are indeed to blame for a deadly virus that has spread to humans. In fact, a research team at King Abdulaziz University in Saudi Arabia found identical viruses in a man who died of the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS and one of his camels. This uh, H7N9 virus does seem to be more transmissible to humans than even H5N1. So that's a cause for concern. Usually in the summer months, the activity goes down, and in the winter months, it comes back again. So we expect that a similar situation might occur this time. So in other words, this winter, we might see an increase of the infection in, in poultry, and then um, more uh, cases of human infection. Chinese authorities have traced a new deadly virus back to this seafood market in the city of Wuhan. They say a new strain of coronavirus originated here has struck dozens of people and put an entire region on edge. 
Images of the market from early December taken by a concerned customer indicate it was apparently selling other live wild animals, including skinned birds, snakes, and raccoon dogs, sparking concern that the virus might have been transmitted from animals to humans. As long as people eat meat, um, there is going to be uh, some risk of uh, infection.